Police officers, city leaders, and strangers waited in line tonight to say goodbye and thank you to Officer Sonny Kim, killed in the line of duty after giving 27 years of service to our community. Good evening. I'm Cherie Palello. Mike Dardis has the night off. WLWT News Size Emily Wood was at tonight's visitation and has more on the overwhelming support and sorrow being felt tonight. Emily. Cherie, thousands wrapped around the Sinta Center this evening and waited patiently to see Officers Kim's family and offer their sincerest thanks and gratitude for his ultimate sacrifice. Flags remain at half staff at the Sinta Center, a place traditionally home to sports and milestone moments, but today it became a place to mourn, say goodbye, and honor the life of Officer Sonny Kim. I would say is really probably the best man I ever knew. I mean, he just exemplifies honor and integrity and care and love. Um, he was just absolutely one of the best. The line to reach the Kim family poured into the parking lot. Many waiting with stories to share of Kim, others simply strangers, here to respect the life he led. I did not know him personally, but I, I just hear so much about what he has done in his community. That a man with a family and a loving wife and, and knowing his, I sense his heart, that he has a heart to serve. You had uh, some of his karate students that were there. Uh, you had, obviously, police officers from everywhere and uh, just a lot of friends. Uh, it says he was, a, he was a really good man. A man described by those who knew him as a beautiful person, inside and out, both as a police officer and a karate sensei, who will now forever be remembered as a Cincinnati hero. And Cherie, people telling us tonight that they waited in line for over an hour and a half to see Kim's family and police officers traveling from as far as New York and California. Reporting live tonight at the Cinta Center at Xavier University, Emily Wood, WLWT News 5. Emily, thank you. By the way, there were two separate incidents outside the memorial tonight. Two different people showed up with guns. One person was arrested. The other case is still under investigation tonight.